surprising, a little bit more active than I thought, especially considering an upper high sitting right on top of us. Even with the high, we were able to squeeze out a few isolated showers and thunderstorms, a couple of little brief downpours around Slidell. Had a bit of lightning with it, actually quite a bit as it moved into the western eastern part of Lake Pontchartrain and uh, uh, Lake Catherine. And have had some scattered thunderstorms elsewhere. Nothing over the city right now. Maybe we'll get a little passing cooling shower. Uh, at times too little too late. We hit 96 degrees for our high, not talking record temperatures, but boy, when you factor in the humidity, it feels like record levels outside at the moment. These are just the fair weather cumulus clouds. Again, we've got some of the taller cloud tops allowing for some rainfall. 96 degrees temperature, uh, 78 degree dew point. That is very humid air, and so it still feels like 113 degrees. So while our temperatures are not in the extreme levels, it's the heat of the seas that are, but still mid upper 90s outside and with that high humidity, dew points have allowed the heat into seas to reach that 110 plus and at times tomorrow it could feel more like 112 to 118. So this is beyond just a heat advisory and excessive heat warning in place for much of the area. And this is the reason why big upper level high basically right on top of us. So kind of a surprise that we were able to squeeze out a few isolated showers and this high is still going to dominate our forecast for the next couple of days, but not sitting over us as we head later into the week. In fact, as this starts to shift more toward the East Coast, it should allow for a little bit more of a southerly flow and if nothing else, just normal daytime heating to allow for some showers and thunderstorms to bubble up. None of the models very aggressive with our rain chances in the coming days, but at least they are allowing for some rain development. So it doesn't look like the high is as as dominant as it could easily have been and a few passing showers are still possible in the coming days a little bit more so toward the middle of the end of the week and especially this weekend as the upper ridging kind of weakens and shifts a bit more to the west looking at the tropper look at shifting off to the east looking at the tropics we have very powerful hurricane barrel winds of 150 miles an hour now if there is any good news it is already past the windward islands and still moving away from the islands very quickly forward motion is 20 one miles an hour. The expectation with this storm is that it will begin to encounter increasing wind shear. That is why it is expected to not maintain that strength throughout the Caribbean. Now it'll still be a powerful storm as it nears Jamaica and the Caymans, though the center, the worst of the storm, should stay down south of the islands. At least that has been the trend that we've seen kind of a trend a little bit more south, but still feeling the impacts of the storm. Now more good news. It will move across the the Yucatan possibly as a weakening category one by the time it reaches the Bay of Campeche or southwestern Gulf, it will be a tropical storm. Models do kind of draw that moisture northward, but I think as far north as this could get would be more South Texas. That upper high will keep this away from us. Mentioning that wind shear by the time it reaches Jamaica and the islands, it will continue to see increasing wind shear basically throughout its duration with that wind shear remaining very strong across the Gulf of Mexico. So not really worried about barrel at all and less of a concern about invest 96. This had been kind of a wild card with models taking it all over the place. So kind of that uncertainty, but the models have also now decreased the chance of it really trying to organize. It is nothing at the moment. And in fact, what's going on? Notice the lack of clouds north of 96. This is all that Saharan dust. It looks like that Saharan dust is going to play a huge role in the future of this system, not really organizing. What it appears we're going to see is just kind of a tropical wave, some rainfall moving toward the Caribbean and eventually dissipating. So not concerned with barrel, not concerned with 96 and elsewhere in the tropics. We look quiet for now. 96 will be our high over the next couple of days. Again, I've got that 20, maybe 30% chance for a few isolated showers. I think those high temperatures that we're going to get un uh, go unchecked until we get some late afternoon rainfall. Then as we continue through our 4th of July weekend, few isolated showers, but still hot going into early next week.